Hey, it's Evan of Evan's Backpacking Videos. So, I'm back in Nashville after just recently finishing my section hike of the Appalachian Trail in New Hampshire, and I have a few loose ends to tie up. I would have preferred to be outside doing this video, but the bugs are so loud I can't compete, so I brought it inside of my art studio with some of my art hanging behind me. First, I want to talk about some of my favorite parts of the hike. The idea on this trip was that I was going to hike all the way through New Hampshire on the Appalachian Trail, just like I did last year, but this time I'd be fresh and I'd be able to really enjoy the White Mountains and the peaks because it wouldn't be part of a through hike. It would just be a section hike. So I started in Hanover at the Vermont, New Hampshire border and headed north toward the White Mountains. It was really great being back in the Whites again, beginning with Mount Musilock and extending all the way through the Wildcats and eventually to the mountain called Old Speck, which is in the Mahusik range of the White Mountains, still technically the White Mountains, and it comes out at Grafton Notch in Maine, which is where my section hike ended. I had some really great weather along the way for the most part. I hit all the peaks I was supposed to, and I even had this absolutely stunning view above the clouds on Mount Madison one morning. Just really, really memorable. Of course, another highlight of my hike was Liz, Liz Kidder, aka Handstand, one of my hiking partners from my through hike of the AT last year. She came out to hike with me a couple of times, and she made videos too, which you should check out on her channel. And I also got to see Liz's husband, Luke, a few times and of course both Luke and Liz are great friends of mine and I'll be hiking with them many more times in my life I'm certain even though they live in Massachusetts and I live here in Nashville. The great weather ended when I was stopped by a storm near the Goose Eye Peaks. Here's a clip of that. It's a nice sunset in that direction but storms over there and if I'm going to night hike, I'll show, where, show you where I'm going. Right here, over that, over that, and then down. I'd camp down there somewhere. Defeated by the storm, I had to throw a tarp up. Which brings me to a little gear talk. That was a glimpse of my Hyperlite tarp, tarp from the inside during the rainstorm. For this hike, I ditched my usual Z-Pax Arc Blast and used a very lightweight pack from Palante Packs called the Joey Pack. I absolutely love this pack, even though it ripped at one point, or more accurately, I ripped it, one of the side pockets. But I'm going to do a full review of my Joey Pack sometime soon, even though it's produced in limited quantities, at least at this point, and is hard, at least right now, to get your hands on. But I feel like I'm very fortunate to be able to own one myself so that I can use it on the hike on hikes like the one I just did in New Hampshire and talk more about it with you in other videos. I think Palante Pax is really onto something good. Now a few words about my sleep system. I didn't use a sleeping pad. I normally don't. I didn't use that small piece of Reflectix that I took with me on the AT last year. I just used a Dyneema ground cloth, a bug bivy, in my eight and a half foot square flat tarp from Hyperlite. Let me just say I love the freedom that this setup gives me to camp anywhere I want and to get off the trail whenever or wherever I want at a moment's notice, even on steep slopes, as I did a few times in New Hampshire. Now, last year I did a video about why I like using a tarp more than I like using a tent or a hammock. That video now has more than 200,000 views. And man, it gets me a lot of hate, mostly from people who say, why bother with a tarp? A, a tent is just so much easier. But I'm telling you, it's that freedom to stop whenever I want, wherever I want, stop in places where tents won't work, hammocks won't work, and set up camp in under three minutes if I need to. That's one of the things I like most about tarp, tarp camping, that freedom that it gives me. Now, I tried hard in this video series the videos I just made about my New Hampshire section hike to show how I use my gear, how my particular gear and my 10, 10 and a half pound base weight 
makes my own hiking technique possible. I've said it before, but I don't think it's enough just to see a person's gear list or to see all their gear spread out in an Instagram photo or YouTube video because without knowing how the gear's owner is going to use the gear to support their own personal backpacking style, and there are lots and lots of personal backpacking styles, the gear lists standing alone are just sort of pointless, at least in my opinion. So in closing, if you're in good shape and you want to do something that gives you a great taste of the Appalachian Trail at its best, the best parts, the most difficult parts of the trail, but without having to commit four or five or six months to doing the entire thing as a through hike, you might want to consider a section hike of the, of the New Hampshire portion of the AT. I just loved it. At the beginning of the series, I got a lot of YouTube griping along the lines of, why are you hiking a trail you've already hiked? Why are you wasting your time doing part of it again? Now, I hope the videos that I did of my hike, which are completely different, by the way, than the through hike videos that I did last year because my mood was different, my physical condition was different, the weather was different, all those things and more. Anyway, I hope my videos put an answer to that question once and for all, why do it again? Put those questions to rest. I mean, even though I've done the New Hampshire section twice now, I'd hike through New Hampshire again on the AT a third, even a fourth time. And maybe I will. If you add the 280 mile main portion to the New Hampshire portion, you've got a really great, unforgettable 440 mile month long section hike. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. So this is the direction I'm headed just for reference purposes. That's Jefferson Adams Madison. I'm going to hold up between these two mountains tonight and cross over Madison in the morning.